How's it going, everybody? Welcome back to the Sims 4 Horse Ranch Expansion Pack. I hope you're having a good one because I am so excited to... That's a door. That's that's a door. <laughs> I'm excited to be back. I'm excited to play around with the dogs, the cats, the horse, the sheep, the goat. It's going to be a good time. It's going to be such a good time. I do have some things I want to change around the ranch just a little bit, though, before we get started. Although I realize I'm saying before we get started as though the video hasn't started. My point being, before we start playing around with The Sims, I want to do some things. I want to put some fences around this entire lot because I want to be able to see at a glance just what exactly is mine and what exactly isn't. And I think this will be good because it means that we can keep everything nicely enclosed. It's going to make it feel a little bit more like a ranch. It's going to make it feel a little bit more like private property, which is what I want it to be. So we're just going to bring this around all of the sides like this. I might open it up in a couple of places and see what we can do with it, but I'm, I'm not really too sure on that one. Uh, we'll bring this over one. We'll actually go this way with it. We're going to go four right here. We're going to go back down like that, and we're going to come across like this. And the reason I want to do that is because if we go into gates, we can actually get this really cool gate right here, which kind of fits perfectly right there. And that's going to be the entrance to the ranch. Now, admittedly, this one looks pretty good as well. It has like the arch over top, which I do really enjoy. We have this barn double door, which looks pretty good as well. I think we'll stick with the cheap one because I'm look, I'm not made of money. All right. It's that simple. I'm not made of money. I might add one back here, though. I don't think I can get away with a larger gate unless I bring the fence back. But I think a gate at the back of the ranch could be a good idea. And there we go. We have some gates. The ranch is totally out of focus in this shot, but that's fine. There we go. Now we can see it. We've got this gate here. We've got the gate in the back. We've got the fences around the whole thing. We've got Blue running around having a grand old time. We've got the little pond. This little ranch is adorable. I love it so much. And apparently Marianne is vibing to what sounds like Beethoven's fifth, which to be fair, I I mean, man, if can you imagine? Can you imagine if YouTube React channels existed when like Beethoven was dropping a new sick beat? Like, you know, just just imagine like just imagine the drop. It's like da na 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 and you'd just have someone be like, "Oh, yeah. Yeah, that hits." Like it'd be it'd be wild, man. Anyway, I'm pretty sure that's a TikTok. I'm pretty sure I'm pre <laughs> pretty sure there's like two guys in a car and they're like, "Yo, listen to this." And it's like Beethoven's fifth. And they're reacting. Yeah, I'm pretty sure that's I'm pretty sure I've seen that ticked. Anyway, <laughs> what is this video? Uh, anyway, I want to do a couple of things here. We need to go and look after the goat and the sheep a little bit. They are kind of filthy and they're not very happy about it. So we'll have me go and uh, clean the mini sheep. We'll have Marianne go and clean the mini goat. And that'll get them a little bit happier because they are absolutely filthy. And then I'm thinking that we actually might get more money if they like us better. So I'm going to test this. We can share shear the sheep for 30 Somalians. Let's go ahead and talk to him a little bit and just get his friendship up a little bit. See if we can't get him to like us some more. Uh, we'll go to chores. We can ask him for gardening help. I love that. If we have a stronger relation, he can help us with uh, with chores. Let's smother him with love. Oh, oh, look at him. Oh, I didn't know we could do that. I did not know we wait. Show him a dance move. Oh my god, I can dance. Is the sheep gonna? If the sheep doesn't dance back, oh he's so oh, he's oh he's trying. Oh no! Wait, what is Ninja jealous? I think. Oh, he's jealous. Oh. Oh, that was adorable. Okay. Okay. Oh, I love this. I am having so much fun with this. I really am. Anyway, uh, there is something I want to do today. I want to start playing around with Nectar a little bit. So if we hit F2 to bring up buy mode, if we go search here for Nectar, we can just search for the term across the board. And now Nectar is a little something something that we can make. It's a little something something we can find as well. It does look kind of illegal. This looks like a moonshine still. I'm going to be honest. But I want one because what we can do is make stuff with it. And then we can also go ahead and age it in this nectar storage rack. 
So I'm going to get one of these guys. I'm going to just sort of stick it right in this corner because that's about the only place uh, for it. So it's going to live right about there. And we want a different color. I like that. I think that looks that blends in so nicely. And then this thing we can say, I mean, honestly, it's probably fine as is. I think it's uh, I think that's actually kind of nice. We'll go for that. And that'll sort of do the job. And then if we go back to live mode, basically, if we go to this guy, purchase ingredients, we can get apples, grapes, lemons, etc., etc. We can go and craft nectar and we can see what we need. And it's based on skill. So three apples for apple nectar, three grapes for grape, three strawberries for strawberry, but we need different levels. So long story short, I want to start making nectar because it can be pretty good money is is what I'm thinking. It can be pretty good money. So let's before we do that. Let's go harvest all of the prairie grass in the area, because I'm pretty sure that's where you can actually find nectar. At least I think that's what you can do. The horse also, I think the horse is eating all of the prairie grass. I'm not going to lie. I think that might have been the only bit that we had to. Uh, yeah, that's the only bit that we had to harvest because the horse has been eating the rest of it, which is. Uh, oh, wait, no, there's some right there. So let's go. Let's go harvest this and see what we get. Might get a little something. Something we got some over here as well. And sadly, we didn't find anything interesting in the prairie grass. So what we'll do is go and purchase some basic ingredients. We need a bunch of apples. So I'm going to say give me 12. Actually, give me 15. That'll be five. Uh, that'll be five bottles of nectar. So we'll go ahead and purchase all of that. And then what we can do is go ahead and start making nectar here in just a second. Now, I do want to make sure that I'm cleaning up. I want to make sure that my needs are OK. My needs are actually kind of perfect. So craft nectar. Let's go and do some apple nectar, and then let's take a look at what Marianne's got going on. So she's kind of tired right now, which is all right. I'm slightly tempted. Oh, she's got work in an hour as well. Okay. So how's work going? Let's have a little look at this and see where we are. So performance is good. She has the diving knife, so she might get promoted today. And then over this way, I'm having a great old time making, making my... Oh, yeah, there it is. <laughs> there it is. Having a great old time making my nectar. And meanwhile, Coda's out here just eating trash, which um <laughs> fair enough. Let's go, let's go lecture him about eating trash. We don't we don't eat trash here, Coda. Alright, we don't we don't do that. He's not very happy about it. We're also gonna want to um wait, request song. Oh my god. Can we get him to woof? Can we get a woof? Are we gonna get a woof? Yeah, we're gonna get we're gonna get a woo. Oh look at him. Look at him! He's doing so good. He's doing so <laughs> Let's see what's wrong with him. Apparently something's wrong as well. The football team sports day is starting. I don't care. I don't. I don't. Andy! We just told Coda not to eat that. What makes you think you're allowed to play in it? No. You're not playing in the trash. That is not how this works. We do not play in trash. We're going to throw that away. Is what we're going to do. We're going to be throwing that away. <laughs> these animals man these animals oh marianne got promoted to scuba instructor not bad she makes an additional 14 simoleons per hour for a grand total of 59 per hour she's also received a bonus next next shift is on ugh, next shift is on friday at 5 p.m okay what does she need to get promoted again purchase a treasure tool dive gear from a diving boy okay we might do that we 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 might do that there's, I mean, we will do that at some point. I'm kind of thinking, to be honest, that I might have them both quit work and just go into exclusively making nectar because I'm pretty sure there's good money in this. If we look at my inventory right now, I've got a bottle of normal quality apple nectar for 55 Somalians. It's not aged yet, though. So what I'm thinking is basically I can throw that into the rack and we can age it. And then it'll be worth more. So that might not be a terrible idea. Also, Indy got sprayed by a skunk, which he's not going to be thrilled about. He's he's going to stink for a little while, which, I mean, you know, to, to be fair, he's, it's, he's an adventurous cat. It's kind of what he does. So I'm not really super surprised by it. Either way, let's go ahead and store all non-finely aged bottles. Let's go ahead and take a bubble bath. Let's go ahead and drink whatever that is. And I want to start putting these books away because they just sit everywhere. My Sims keep just 
not putting them away and they're just covering every surface with books. And then what I also want to do is, oh, my queue is full. Okay. What I was trying to do was serve dinner. Now, I don't necessarily think we're going to be doing a whole lot with dinner right now, but we can put it in the fridge and then it'll do as leftovers for breakfast or whatever else. And I think that's a habit I want to try and get into is prepping meals. I want to get into this habit in real life. I'm probably going to be better at it in The Sims, though. I want to prep meals so that they don't go hungry. And in fairness, my Sim is a little bit hungry right now, so we'll let him get some dinner. And then what we'll do as soon as he is done is go ahead and put this away. That way, we're not going to be having the animals jumping up and, and eating that. We'll go ahead and mop this up as well. And I want to find out who... I'm not too worried about Barney barking. Lecture Indy about scratching. Ask Coda to go potty. Where is... Where, where are the rest of these animals right now? What did you do? Like sure about barking. We'll brush Coda so we don't start getting hair everywhere. That seems like it would be a pretty good idea. That way, you know, the place is a little bit cleaner. And apparently we're just going to go to bed. Apparently we're going to do none of that. This is it. The opportunity Dylan has been waiting for. A company just reached out to him about a sponsorship and has asked him to do a stream to advertise their product. This could be big money. Dylan has never heard of the product and the company is pushing for him to give a positive review. Will he accept it and take the risk of promoting an unknown product or will he decline and give an honest review? Oh boy. Well, if this isn't a little bit meta, I don't know what is. I have a rule. I have a rule when it comes to sponsorships on my actual YouTube channel, which is that I won't take them if it's for a company that I've literally never heard of or if it's a game that I wouldn't be interested in. Typically, it's going to be things that I have already played or have experience with or have already used or it's something like that. I, I typically don't take sponsorships for things that I don't personally have faith in, which is why certain mobile games that everybody else has done sponsorships on, I don't do them because I don't play mobile games. I'm going to decline. I'm, I'm going to decline. I'm proud to stick to my morals and know some opportunities will come. It's a small price to pay in the grand scheme of things. That's that's kind of how I look at it. Like, I've I've had some pretty good sponsorship deals throughout my time on YouTube, but a well, new personality trait. Love the out. Do I love the outdoors? You know, I, I kind of I don't go in, into the outdoors all that much, but I do enjoy the outdoors. I, I absolutely do. So we'll, we'll say that I love the outdoors. I'm hoping that doesn't mean I'm going to have to um, spend a lot more time in the outdoors, but we'll find out. I'm also noticing the place is kind of getting dusty. I think we need a vacuum cleaner. Now, interestingly, I didn't realize that the game had robot vacuum cleaners. I actually have one of these things. They're kind of cool. I'm also realizing I don't think I've ever seen the cats use the scratching post. I'm going to get rid of that because I just don't think they use it. I'm going to see about putting this thing right about here. If it's going to, can I put it like the other way around? Can I put it here? I don't think it's going to let me do that, is it? Is there anywhere here I can put this thing that it's going to work? I think about there is uh, is probably good enough. So robot vacuum cleaner can live there. And I want to see if this thing actually works. So start cleaning routine. I, I want to see. So we switch it on and it goes around. It's doing its thing. I'm kind of hoping it cleans the floors. They look a little bit dusty. It's cool having that, though. I really like it. I'm also hoping it's going to pick up like the fur and stuff that's laying around. It doesn't really look like it did, which is a little bit annoying. So I guess what I'll do is a trash can is required. Is the trash can full? Need an outdoor trash can to take out the trash. Do we not have an out? Wait a minute. Where's... Do we not have an outdoor trash can? I could swear. Where have they been taking the trash this whole time? We have this. We have a trash can right here. What do you mean we don't have a trash can? What? What? Huh? I don't, I don't understand. I don't understand what's going on. We have a trash can. Also, there's a massive pile of manure over here. We also need to feed the horse. Let's refill that with prairie grass. That seems like a good idea. And while we're here, let me talk about whatever we're talking about, which cloud's the fluffiest. Let's also make sure that you're not hungry. You are fine. We'll go ahead and shear you for wool, I guess. And then where's the other one? Is that you down here? It absolutely is. How are you doing? Are you hungry? No, you're quite okay. We'll go ahead and milk you. Well, we'll talk about minerals and then we'll milk for Somalians is what we'll do. That way we can get a little bit of money from them and also make sure that they're doing okay. 
Now, it is love day, so I feel like we probably want to get these two to go off on a date and spend a bit of time together, maybe without the animals. So let's figure out where they're going. And I realize me being the type of person to try and kill two birds with one stone, I figured we could come out here to the uh, the island again, which means we can go to this boy. We cannot buy things at this one. Interesting. I might have come to the wrong part of the island. I was going to come out here and buy the stuff that Marianne needed for work, but I, I don't think I can do that, unfortunately. So that's fine. We could... We could have them go on that canoe. I'm probably not going to do that just yet. Let's focus on the tasks at hand. So socialize with your date, sit and talk to your date, have them both be flirty at the same time. So why am I singing Christmas music? Let's embrace. That seems like a good idea. So she's feeling a bit flirty. Can I, can I feel a little bit flirty? Is that an option? Romance, flirtation. Let's see. Let's see, let's see, let's see. Let's just whisper seductive. Let's just whisper sweet nothings and see how things go. Apparently, I'm just not feeling... Apparently, I'm just not feeling it. I'm just very happy. I'm just happy to be here. <laughs> I'm just I'm just happy to be here. That's that's pretty much how it is. Let's caress cheek. Let's... I'm determined to... I'm determined to be flirty. <laughs> Gonna stand out in public just caressing someone's cheek. <laughs> that's... That's the way to do it. That's that's how you that's how you do it. What else can we do? What else can we do? Uh physical intimacy. Kiss under mistletoe. Kiss cheek kiss. Um kiss, I guess. We'll be adorable. There we go. That's just a just a little okay, we're just gonna talk. Just gonna, I, I, that's not what I was profess undying love. Be flirty, damn it! Or don't. Now we got this person involved. You know what? Let's just go sit and talk. That seems like a good idea. Let's let's bring these walls down a little bit. Let's, um, I don't know, sit together is what we'll do. So we'll have everyone head over or not. Is she coming over? No. Nope. Can we, can we, can we sit together and talk? Is that, is that an option? There we go. Socialize. Have them both be playful at the same time. Have them both be flirty at the same time. Oh boy. I... <laughs> I don't know how well this is going to go for me, but I'm going to try and figure it out. I'm still just happy to be here. That's fine. Let's express fondness and see how that goes. I'm still not feeling flirty. What if she flirts with me? Is that is that going to help? Blow a kiss, I guess? I don't know. I don't, I'm not a very flirty person. I don't know if it's obvious. I don't know what flirting is. I'm, I'm, a, I, I gen, this isn't, this isn't a bit, this isn't me trying to be funny. Genuinely, the idea that the, the joke that men don't really understand flirting is largely true. Yes, there are some that are able to flirt. I am not one of them. I'm also terrible at picking up on flirting. I just didn't, I'm just, I'm just, yeah, I'm just useless at it. Long story short. That's, that's the long and short of it. Anyway. Let's just, let's just end this date. It wasn't the best date. It wasn't the most successful date, but at the very least, at the very least, they've been a little bit romantic together. The date is done. In terms of giving flowers to each other, eh, I don't know where I'm gonna get flowers. So what I think I'm gonna do is just try and get this, uh, this boy thing this this what does she need a treasure tool dive gear before she goes to work because i'd really like to uh, i'd really like her performance to continue to improve and i'd really like to see her get promoted so super quickly we want to head over to here and apparently we can't do it at this one was that not the boy that we used last is that the one that we used last time it absolutely is so we need the tra it's twelve hundred dollars oh oh we don't have enough money for this kind of business we do not have enough money for this kind of business. Where's she going? She's going to work. That's fine. Where am I? What am I doing? I'm sleeping. All right. Well, <laughs> fair enough. That's that's fair enough. Am I am I tired? I am. I guess I am tired. I guess that makes sense. I could ooh, I could grill some stuff while I'm here. We got some trash. We got this guy. What are you actually doing? Resume building sand sculpture. Can I go help someone build a sand castle? That seems like a great idea. So I, there's no, I was hoping there might be a skill associated with this, but apparently not. That's fair enough. I want to monster stomp it. 
I'll be honest. I'm not really this kind of person in real life, but there's something to be said about having my sim do it. It just seems it just seems kind of fun. What is this? Is that another grill? Oh no, it's a it's a it's a food stall. Ooh, what can we get here? Tropical vegetable plate, grilled fruit. All right. Give me, am I hungry? I am kind of hungry. Give me the shish kebab. That seems like a great idea. It's also kind of fun to say shish kebab. Caleb, please. This guy, I honestly, can I, can I like block him from my contacts? Is that an option? Wait, can I change my phone by? Oh, it's like my discord is what it is. Cover color. Wait, what? What is it? I don't know what this is changing. Wait, is that change? Wait. Wait, 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 wait. Is that changing the actual phone that my sim holds? Oh, it does. So hold on a second. If I now go into my phone and I go to here. Oh, it doesn't change on the fly. Okay, that's really cool. Oh, that's so cool. I can also make it look like an old cassette tape. I'm 100% doing that. And then I can silence it. I can, I'm going to silence this phone. There we go. I didn't know you could customize this stuff. It's so good looking. Oh my God, this, I, I'm having so much fun. I'm not even going to lie. I am having a lot of fun. Let's go, uh, let's go light this thing. I'm pretty sure I can do some work stuff while I'm here. So why can't I make a lifestyle review? I need a computer to do this. Really? Oh, don't, don't. Why are you playing in the trash? Why are you, you are an adult. What are you? What are you? <laughs> let's, let's go fire dance. Let's go fire dance and get my, fa my, oh, that seems dang. You know what? I am not, I am not coordinated enough for this kind of business. This seems like a terrible idea is what this seems like. Ooh, Marianne brought home 177 Somalians. Okay. I say that we spent, we spent so much just now on, <laughs> on that, on that, on that thing. Oh man. Let's go home. Let's go home. We, we need to start making money that is, uh. Maybe not from part-time work. And so now that we're home, we got a pop-up in the top right that talks about social bunny worthy things happening to me today. So, I mean, this is gonna be a place to connect with other Sims and virtually share your life. It's a social media platform. We can go to new post. We can post about travel and we'll say energized narrative. We'll say, okay. And then, hello, beautiful home I have returned. Really? That's, that's, that's what we're saying here. That's, that's what we're saying. All right. That's, that's apparently, that's apparently noteworthy. All right. Well, fair enough. Oh, Ninja, stop playing in the trash. Quit playing. You're going to be stinky. No, we don't. We don't play in trash. We don't do that. Has he just learned? Oh, he's learned not to play in the trash. Fantastic. Right. Let's throw this away. Let's fill all the pet bowls. Honestly, I might, I might have to move the pet bowls. They are kind of cluttered in the middle there. And... In all honesty, I really just want to, re did he just, who's, who's yelling? Who's the, who's, who's, why did I get up to do exercise? I've never done that in my life. I'd never dream of it. That is absolutely not a thing I would do. 100% no. Although, do I have any nectar on me right now? I don't. I've still got enough apples to make more though. So let's clean this thing and then let's go craft some apple nectar. Let's see how these guys are doing. So they are lightly aged, worth 110 simoleons each. So 137 for the two bottles. That's not bad. That is not bad. I need to get better at making this stuff for sure. Ooh, do I like nectar making? Sure, yeah, love it. Love it, <laughs> absolutely love it. Nothing I love to do more other than clean this filthy, filthy little animal. How, how are you, how are you? <laughs> Man. We, we really gotta, we really gotta stop, stop these animals from making themselves filthy all the time. It's getting a little bit silly. Can we, uh, can we, can we bath Harry here? I just, I just, I don't, Indy's been sprayed by a skunk again? Indy, what are you, what are you doing? What are you doing? Oh no. What? Oh, Love Day was awesome. Good. They both had a good time. That's fantastic. Indy, what are you doing? Oh, no, he's running off. All right. Is he going home? I think, I think he is. I think it's home time for Indy. All right, that's not so bad. Oh, never mind. He's been bitten by a squirrel. Now, fortunately, he doesn't seem to be ill. 
I think he's still just kind of stinky, which is all right. I'm not super worried about that. As long as he doesn't get sick again, I really, I really don't mind. And I guess while I'm making nectar, why are you crying? What's going, what's up with you? What's, what's going on here? Let's have, uh, let's, let's relax and unwind with the, uh, with the dog just to get him to chill a little bit. See if we can't get him to, uh, get him to relax and stop whining. Indy's going to be stinky for a while. That's all right. What am I doing? I'm bathroom then bed. That's fine. No. Oh, look at him. Look at his little face. Oh, look at that little face. Look, he looks like he's plotting something. Admittedly, she looks, she, eh. Uh, <laughs> neither of them look entirely invested in what's going on here. <laughs> yeah, neither of them look particularly pleased about that in the end. All right. Now I have just realized that we have these pictures of Coda. Well, at least we have this one. Oh, we have this one. Oh, that's him on the beach. Oh, I love it. I love that so much. Oh, oh, 100%. Can I put it like, where can I put this? Can I, oh, I can put it up here. Oh my God. I love it. I love it so much. I want to add a frame. I want it to be a nice dark wood for, look at him. Look at him. We can also list it. We can rotate it. Is that a filter? Oh, that's so good. Can I grab this one? Actually, Barney is running away. Why is Barney running away? Barney! No! No! You are not running away. Hold on a minute. Let's, uh, let's see what's wrong. Can I get him to stop running away? No. Oh, no. All right, posting an alert via computer or phone can help find him sooner. How do we do that? That's that's the question. Social bunny, maybe. Open. Uh, new post. Post about being back from work. We'll do that, I guess. Uh, we'll do a happy narrative. That seems like a good idea. Get that going. I have no idea. So what am I complaining about? What's going on here? I've got to go to work. Sure. I can do that. I should probably store this uh, this nectar as well. So let's stop sleeping for a second. We'll store the nectar. How do I post on social media about Barney being missing, though? Oh, it was a social thing. We've got to post an alert about the missing pet, and hopefully that'll help us find him. So, Marianne's alert should have everyone on the lookout for Barney. All right. We'll hopefully get him home in no time at all. Indy's jumping on counters. There's one of them's thrown up there. Let's go ahead and just empty these bowls. We'll refill all of the pet bowls as well. I really need to redecorate this living space. I kind of want a TV. I, I really do. I also kind of want to get rid of as happy as he looks in this picture. I'm going to sell it to publication because I really prefer this one. He looks like, look at him. Look at him. That's so good. That really is. It's so good. We'll get rid of this. We'll sell it to publication. I brought home 52 simoleons. I'm really not bringing home much. I think I really should lean into the. Uh, I, I think we should lean into the nectar. I'm going to be honest. I'm, I'm kind of thinking that's really what I've got to do here is lean into just making nectar and uh, hope that that's going to make me the big bucks. I don't know that it is. I really don't. But that's that's kind of what I'm thinking. I'm thinking if I leave the nectar in storage for a long enough time, that's going to it's going to you know be finely aged. And that's how we can do things. That's how we can make our money. I'm also filthy, which is a bit of a problem. Can I? I resume this real quick. It's it's very nearly done. I've got my stinky feet th <laughs> through the neck too, which is fair enough. We'll go ahead and store that. We'll go ahead and take a, uh, a bubble bath because we do stink. We're also exhausted. We're also hungry. So let's get some leftovers. And then we'll go to sleep is what we'll do. Marianne is a little tired as well. We'll have her get some leftovers too since we want to make sure that they're doing okay. She also kind of needs the bathroom, so we'll use that. And she needs to have some fun, which is, I, I think that's where this, this radio is coming in. They're listening to a lot of music, and that's kind of how they're chilling, which is fair enough. And apparently I'm going to bed without eating anything. That's also fair enough. Oh, Barney's back, and he's filthy and carrying a gift. Barney, what are you, what is, what is this? Hold on a minute. Let's, let's welcome him back, because I, I'm, I am really glad to see him. That's, that's what we're looking for. She's missing her furry fr- Oh. Oh. He's back. It's okay. I think he just ran past her. Yeah, he absolutely did. I want to know what's in this gift. I want to know where he's been. 
I... <laughs> I'm a little concerned that he's brought something back, to be quite honest with you. So what exactly have we got here? Bleep the robot. Interesting. Uh... Hmm. Okay, well, that's fair enough. The good news is, like I said, we can go and welcome Barney back. He's okay. Everything, everything is okay now. There's also a bike. Can I steal that? Can I, can I take this? Get on bike. Rename bike. She doesn't own it, but I can get on it and I can take it around. Interesting. I don't know why my first question was, can I steal it? But apparently that's, apparently that's, that's where we've gotten to now. Oh, look at him. Oh, oh, look at him. He's filthy. I don't know where you've been, mister, but you, you need a bath is what you need. And you are getting one. We've also got dust bunnies again. So we'll go ahead and step on those. We'll get this thing to go and do a cleaning routine as well so that we can hopefully get the place a little bit cleaner. I just, there's, there's a lot. There's a lot we need to do. Let's, let's get this little fella cleaned up. That's kind of the priority. Get him tidy up. Get rid of the dust bunny. Hopefully the robot can deal with everything else. And honestly, I think we're doing all right today. I think we're doing all right. I think this nectar is going to be solid. I think Marianne is probably lined up for another promotion soon enough. So really, she's the one she's the one with the actual job making the money. And I'm over here like a crazy person going, you know, my apples, my apples are going to make money. I just have to put them in storage for a week and they're going to make money. Trust me. <laughs> the government doesn't want you to know that the apples, Big Apple, doesn't want you to know. That's, that's, I'm like in the, in the corner foaming at the mouth. Just, you know, it's like, it's a conspiracy. Big Apple doesn't want you, to, doesn't want you to know. They're free. You can just go take them. You just walk up to a tree and take it. They can't stop you. I'm just, <laughs> oh, what am I doing? What am I doing? <laughs> Wait a minute. Did I just see one of the animals riding the robot? There is no way. There is no way. Did I just see one of the cats on the robot? I Please tell me that's a thing. Please tell me that's a thing. I'm almost certain I saw one of them sitting on the robot. <gasps> oh my god. No. <laughs> I love it so much. Move, Coda. <laughs> Yes! <laughs> oh my god, it's so good. All right, we're only on part two and this series has peaked. We're gonna leave it there for today. Thank you so much for watching everybody. It has been an absolute pleasure as always. And as always, I'll see you next time. Bye bye Oh, I broke the toilet. Fantastic.